Next point, my dear friends. After we finish about the types of the system, we go into the properties of the system. Now, what exactly we mean by the properties of the system that I'll explain you. Now, my dear friends, there are various properties. The basic properties I already told you. Temperature, pressure, volume, concentration. And apart from there, there are so many other properties as well. Now, those properties have values. Now, when you talk about these values, my dear friends, remember one thing is, there are two possibilities. Possibility number one, that there are values which will depend on the amount of the substance. And there are values which does not depend upon the amount of the substance. Two possibilities. So whenever we talk about the properties of the system, we are actually relating it to the amount of the substance. So in one case, the values are dependent and the other case, the values are independent. These are the two possibilities and therefore we say that there are two types of properties of the system and here we go, which are those? The first one is, we call it as intensive properties. I'll give you an example my dear friends. If I ask you a question, tell me the boiling point of water. I can hear the answer from you all. You said 100 degrees Celsius, right? Yes. Everybody will say it's 100 degrees Celsius. Nobody will ask that, sir, first of all, please tell us the volume of water and then we will answer your question. No one. So what does this mean? That if I have a 10 ml of water or if I have 10 liters of water, the boiling point of water is going to remain as 100 degrees Celsius. That means it is not going to be dependent on the amount of the substance, amount of water. You getting it everyone? Oh yes. Okay, so this is one category. The second one is, if I take a substance which is 5 kilograms, and if I take a substance which is 50 kilograms, am I going to say that the mass of both of them is same? The amount of the substance varies. 5 kilograms and 50 kilograms. Kilogram is a unit of mass. So 5 kilogram substance and a 50 kilogram substance, and if I'm going to say that the amount of the substance is same, you will say, what are you talking about? It's absolutely, you're gone out of your mind. Yes, you are true. So amount of the substance is related to mass. Similarly, if I talk about volume, okay, if I have a liquid which is say 2 liters, and if I have a liquid which is 200 liters, and if I say amount of the substance is same, oh come on, what crap you're talking about? Okay, so it's very clear, my dear friends, that whenever you talk about ML, it's volume. So mass, volume, they are related to the amount of the substance. Now I guess you're getting very clear the differences between the two. Yes. So this is the first category and that is intensive. And what are we going to say in this intensive category is, it is going to be those properties which are having values independent of our, yes, amount of the substance. You want some examples? I'll give you. Uh, some of the examples I've already given you, boiling point, melting point, temperature, refractive index, you must be knowing this refractive index, mu is equal to sin i upon sin r, oh yes. Okay, next one is we have surface tension, we have viscosity. You know what, what is viscosity is? Okay, the opposing force which is acting on the liquid so that it resists the flow of the liquid. Okay, that is in simple words is viscosity. All right, pressure, density. These are all those properties whose values are related to the nature of the substance. But here we are talking about the amount of the substance. Amount of the substance per uska koi koi connection nahi hai. Wo uske upar aadha rit nahi hai. Ha, agar mene substance badal diya, toh badal jayega. Okay, yaha pa jaysa mene aapko example diya tha, paani ka paani point 100 degree Celsius hai. Okay, lekin agar mene suppose acetone le liya, toh 56 degree Celsius hooga. Mene amount nahi change kiya, mene nature of the substance change kiya. So all these properties are dependent on nature of the substance. But we are concentrating on what? amount of the substance. You getting it? So this is the first part and that is intensive properties. Now we come into the next one. I guess you will have to say that the next property is what will happen. If it is intensive, then the other extensive is necessary, friends. 
Okay, so it is extensive property. Now, very clear, as I've been always been telling you, try to understand chemistry. Okay, there is some strict for that. Okay, tarika hota, ek mechanism hota. Okay, read only one concept and then accordingly shuffle around for the next concept. So if you understand intensive very well, okay, you can easily get extensive. Ek yopar, ek free offer. Okay, so what is extensive is? Independent hai, toh yaha par kya kar dijiye usko? Yes, dependent kar do isko. It is going to be dependent on what? Amount of the substance. Okay, examples. Some of the examples I've already given you. It's mass. It's volume. Okay, it's energy. Amount of energy applied depends upon the nature. Uh, amount of the substance. Amount of force to be applied also depends upon the amount of the substance. The area, the surface area of a substance. ओके okay, अगर मैं थोड़ा सा सब्सटेंस लेता हूं ओके okay, उसका मैंने सरफेस एरिया देखा और अगर मैंने ज्यादा सब्सटेंस लिया था उसका सरफेस एरिया देखा इट्स गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट सो द सरफेस एरिया डिपेंड्स अपॉन द अमाउंट ऑफ द सब्सटेंस सो आई हैव रिटन ओवर हियर एरिया सो मास वॉल्यूम एनर्जी फोर्स एरिया दीस आर ऑल दोस प्रॉपर्टीज हुज वैल्यूज डिपेंड्स ऑन द अमाउंट ऑफ द सब्सटेंस एंड देयरफॉर आई कॉल दीस प्रॉपर्टीज एज व्हाट extensive properties you getting it so intensive and extensive independent of the amount of the substance extensive is dependent on the amount of the substance ab yaad kaise rakhne ka confusion boy kai baar hota hai so i give you a simple trick also and for that is intensive ka pehla akshar kya hai i independent ka pehla akshar kya hai i आप समझ में आ ही गया होगा कैसे याद रखना है आप लोग को okay aur agar ye samajh mein aa gaya to extensive to yaad rakhna bahut hi aasan hai Clear? The concept is very good. Okay, done. Next is uh, one important point which I would like to you to understand with respect to the properties is okay. Which one? Tell me, friends. Mass. Which property is? Is it? See, you. Yes. I got answer. I got your answer. And what is extensive? In the same way, if I ask you, volume. Which property is? Can you see it here? Yes, it is extensive. आप सब के जुबान से मुझे यहाँ आंसर यहाँ तक आ रहे हैं मेरे कानों को तक गुंज रहा है कि मास अपन वॉल्यूम आप सब लोग बोल रहे हो चिल्ला चिल्ला करके सर वो तो डेंसिटी है जी हाँ दोस्तों वो डेंसिटी के अलावा कुछ हो ही नहीं सकता सो डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू मास अपन वॉल्यूम अब डेंसिटी को ढूंढो कहा लिखा है देखो कहा लिखा है डेंसिटी यहाँ पर लिखा है ओके और वो कहा कौन सी कैटेगरी में लिखा है इंटेंसिव की कैटेगरी में लिखा है देखा आप लोग ने सो डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू मास अपॉन वॉल्यूम डेंसिटी इज इंटेंसिव मास इज एक्सटेंसिव वॉल्यूम इज एक्सटेंसिव एक और जादू बताता हूं दोस्तों एंड दैट इज फोर्स ओके कहां दिख रहा है एक्सटेंसिव ओके एरिया कहां दिख रहा है आपको एक्सटेंसिव ये सभी आप सब लोग चिल्ला चिल्ला के बोल रहे हो कि ये सी तो प्रेशर होता है एंड प्रेशर कहां पर है इंटेंसिव देखा दोस्तों ये जाते देखा आप लोग ने ओके सो दीस आर द टू एग्जांपल्स व्हाट इज डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू मास अपॉन वॉल्यूम द सेकंड वन इज प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू फोर्स अपॉन एरिया एंड थ्रू दीस एग्जांपल्स ओके आई एम वेरी श्योर यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस बट देन स्टिल आई वुड लाइक टू पुट इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ स्टेटमेंट एंड दैट इज दैट स्टेटमेंट कम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड दैट इज द रेशियो of two extensive properties e b wala extensive property a is a intensive property you getting me everyone the ratio of the two extensive property is a intensive property and this is what i want you to convey okay with respect to these two examples so all set okay we are talking about right now properties of the system it is related to the amount of the substance and with respect to the amount of the substance there are two types intensive as well as extensive intensive independent of the amount of the substance extensive means it is dependent on the amount of the substance i gave you some examples so that you get it very clear and then the last and the most important one is the ratio of the two extensive property is a intensive property i hope this concept is very clear to all of you all yes thank you